All right, here we are, season two. We made it through 15 episodes so far of Vander Cooks. And here we are of episode one, season two. And today, we're gonna try something a little bit more ambitious uh, than normal. Uh, I guess ambitious from being here by myself. Normally, I follow a recipe, but today, I am following a recipe, but not really. So today, we're gonna be making Alfredo clam chowder. Basically, I'm gonna try and combine the shells and Alfredo with clam chowder. Not really too sure how I'm gonna combine those yet, but I'm sure it'll be fire. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start off with making the clam chowder first. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is heat a large stock pot over medium high heat. We've got our gourmet bacon. Thick slices. I want a lot of bacon in this clam chowder. Four slices. We're gonna cook that until it's nice and golden brown. Now it's pretty crispy, so we're gonna transfer it over to our paper towel lined plate. Boom. We're gonna save the bacon grease in a bowl. We'll use this later. So now we're gonna chop our onion and our cloves of garlic. So let's peel our onion. Oh, my eyes are already tearing up. No! So let's chop our onion. Oh, my eyes! Hold on, I need eye protection. Good to go. So now we're gonna slap chop this. Oh, my eyes! Oh! That slap chop f***ed me up. Not me. The slap chop. And now for these garlic cloves. We're gonna take our butter, two tablespoons, and melt it in the stock pot. Spoon. Onions and garlic in. Half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Three tablespoons of flour. One cup of milk. A cup of vegetable stock. A single bay leaf. And our clam juice. Potato thyme. Should be an easy way to do this. Uh, potato time is done. We're gonna put it in. So, now the potatoes are in. We're gonna bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce the heat and let the potatoes simmer for like 15 minutes so they can become tender. In the meanwhile, we're gonna make the Alfredo. Simple. We're gonna bring this water to a boil. Now it's boiling. Pasta's been boiling in here for quite some time now. Let's drain it. We're gonna add in our two tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of milk, and the contents of the sauce packet. Mix it all together. It smells Alfredo-y. Add in the pasta. So we'll let that chill. Meanwhile, our clam chowder, our potatoes have been simmering, and now they're soft. So we're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. Now it's time to mix a hint of bacon grease. Looks like pretty strong enough. Oh wow! Our really crispy bacon. Bruh. Time to mix it. This is gonna be either really good or really disgusting. My 
body is ready. Keeping scoop of Alfredo clam chowder. I'm excited. A tad on the salty side. That's to be expected. <laughs> that is good. Oh, it's like the clam chowder mixes well with the texture of the mac and cheese. Both are like soft, kind of chewy things. And then you have the crispiness of the bacon and the bacon grease flavoring. It's just like something you taste in a San Francisco bougie ass restaurant. No misses, only hits. Mmm, potatoes are nice and soft. Pasta, well cooked. The bacon, mmm, the bacon. That didn't take too long to make, to be honest. It was pretty simple despite it being two different meals combining together. It works. I give it a eight and a half out of 10. This has been an episode of Vander Cooks and I'll see you next time.